Heavy rain and storms move our way tonight. The severe threat today much, much higher to our south and west over Alabama, parts of Mississippi into the panhandle of Florida. Now as we move toward tomorrow, kind of splits up a little bit. You got a high risk for severe weather here in the Midwest and a medium risk to our south. The storm system kind of splitting in a way, leaving us with a low risk for severe weather, but we'll be watching it closely. Thankfully, the timing here on our side as it moves in earlier in the day when things are a bit cooler and more stable. Right now we've got temperatures this evening in the upper 60s and as we go into the overnight hours that rain comes in in a hurry. Tomorrow morning when you wake up we'll likely be dealing with heavy rainfall, temperatures in the low to mid 60s and windy. The good news here is the rain tapers off as the day goes on. Likely around 10 a.m. the worst of it moves out. Still some scattered downpours around 1 o'clock and lingering off and on through the afternoon but getting better. Asheville to Hendersonville same story. Earlier rain later drying with some last lingering showers moving in during the afternoon and evening hours. 67 in Asheville, 75 a high in Greenville. Latest timing here has 1130. We've got rain knocking on the door and it is heavy. We went through 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m. And then going into the morning hours tomorrow, we've got some storms to look out for. It won't be all across the area at every given moment, but there'll be some feisty, heavy rainfall, likely some thunder in some locations with gusty winds. 10 a.m. You see the worst of it's moving through Greenville, Spartanburg, and then we're drying up very quickly. By noon, we've got sun shining out there, but we're not quite done with the rain yet. The back edge of this, the lingering piece of energy rolling through around four or five o'clock, some likely uh, locally heavy rainfall at times, and we'll look out for a rogue cell that could turn strong into the afternoon and evening, but generally speaking, getting better as the day goes on. Then the wind machine cranks up. Look at this. We've got wind gusts tomorrow in the afternoon beyond the rain, uh, 40 miles per hour across the area. It stays very windy tomorrow night, and then Friday's a live super Doppler for impact day because of the high winds. Again, it is very, very windy on on Friday, despite being completely sunny and clear across the area, those winds die down and the temperatures go up going into the weekend. So live Super Doppler 4 impact day on Thursday with heavy morning rain and windy 75 high winds on Friday 67. By Saturday, we've got more sunshine 77 degrees. We're in the low 80s on Sunday throughout all of next week. Looks to be very, very nice across the area and in the mountains. Same story morning, heavy rain and high winds tomorrow. High winds continue on Friday. You're in the 80s as well Sunday into next week.